This is a demonstration of Autodesk's Recap Studio, the desktop version of Recap. What we're looking at is a point cloud brought into Recap from Leica scanners in Cyclone. And what we can do initially is we can look all around the model or not so much of a model, the scan. And this can be mostly accomplished just with the mouse buttons. Right button is a rotate. The middle wheel is a zoom or a fly through, back and forth. And the middle button, mouse button, just pressing it, is a pan. You can pretty much get all around your scan with just those buttons. If you want to go a little faster, you can do fly and left mouse button and the position of the mouse will... I'm just holding down the left button and moving the mouse around and it lets me virtually fly through my model. just hit escape to get out of that mode. What a scan is, is close to a three-dimensional photograph and its resolution is set by the scanner when it's done plus you have multiple scans for multiple areas and they all get mixed together. In recap you can do things like change how the lighting is, and some other aspects of the display. You can change the display to elevation, intensity, or normals, or scan location if that means anything in your data. I like to keep it at the RGB, which is pretty close to the realistic colors of the actual scene. You can also change the size of the points on the screen from one on up. I like with this data, three makes it look a little a little more solid and one makes it look a little more gossamer, a little more translucent. I usually like to see it about at two. You can also do limit boxes. Let me just turn off one more thing in, in the display. You can toggle perspective on and off. This little house icon is the default view. And I have just perspective off right now. Recaps display does many things to optimize and keep the performance of the display quite good even though the data sets can be really huge. These are the limit boxes. You can make and save limit boxes. You just click that on and you can move that through. You can also go to options, highlight edges and it turns the points that hit the edge of the limit box red. I'm going to be working on this corner of the point cloud, so I'm going to bring the limit box down to here and hit confirm. What else can I do in recap? I can measure things. Distance.
you can actually measure from point to point. And my units are in meters. those I select and hit the X next to them. Let's say I was doing some equipment remove and maybe replace with something else in this project. What I can do is delete points or turn off points in this point cloud and then re-export. So when I bring it into my modeling software or my documentation software, those points will not be visible, will not even be in the new cloud. And I will show how to do that. Let's say I was going to remove this tank and I will demonstrate how to do that to change the limit box a little bit here. points and either turn off or isolate whatever I have. I have different ways of selecting points, window, fence, and plane. I think I could do window in this case. And I can delete or I can clip. I can clip inside or outside of the points that I've selected. I will clip inside. And now they're turned off. If I want to get them back, I can do unclip last or unclip all. And now I can reset the limit box and export whatever I have to either PTS or these other formats to bring into Revit or AutoCAD or any other software that can deal with point clouds. That is a demonstration of Autodesk Recap.